Happy Thursday to you all. I hope that you're having a great June 4th so far and that you continue to be safe and that you continue to be healthy and that you continue to grow in your relationship with the Lord. Thanks for joining me at 10 o'clock for morning devotions. We're uh, working through the Psalms of Ascent, which are Psalms 120 through 134. It's 15 Psalms. We're on Psalm 123 today. Remember when we walk through the Psalms of Ascent, remember we're walking with the pilgrims as they go up to Jerusalem. They're literally walking up the hill or they're walking to Jerusalem. And these 15 Psalms, four of them are written by David. One of them is written by Solomon. And then 10 of them are anonymous. Psalm 123 is anonymous. And I will let you know what some commentators think as far as who wrote it. And then the people would travel three times a year to go to Jerusalem to see the feasts or to practice or to worship through the feasts. So the theme of the Psalm 123 today is when you are targeted or persecuted because of your faith. So this is going to be a great one for us to lean into and how do we deal with persecution when it comes. And we're looking at Psalm 123 verses 1 and 2. The author writes, I lift my eyes to you, the one who is enthroned in heaven. Like a servant's eyes are on his master's hand, like a servant's girl's, like a servant girl's eyes on her mistress's hand. So our eyes are on the Lord our God until he shows us favor. A couple theories or a couple ideas of who wrote this. Perhaps this was written during the Babylonian captivity. Uh, commentators also say this might have been written during the time of Nehemiah when he was trying to rebuild the wall and he was facing much persecution and suffering and ridicule. We're not really sure, uh, but we can all, but we do know for sure that whoever wrote this, they were facing great times of persecution. And the psalmist, look what he does. He asks the Lord for mercy to endure the persecution and for suffering. When we face persecution and when we face suffering, our first response is we look to ourselves, we look to our own strength and our own hands to be able to fix the problem or to make it better because we want control. The psalmist here, he says, I'm going to lift my eyes to you, to the one enthroned in heaven. Now, when persecution comes, we need to look to the Lord first of all. Now, I want you to, to take notice of the difference between Psalm 123 and Psalm 121. Notice they start out the same way, I lift my eyes, but Psalm 121 talks about people lifting their eyes to Jerusalem. And that is where their hope comes from because they're working their way up the hill. In Psalm 123, they're lifting their eyes not to Jerusalem, not to the hill. They're lifting their eyes right up to the Lord himself. And they are looking directly to God for reassurance during the times of difficulty, during the times of persecution. The people knew the Lord looked on them. He knew that they cared for him, and they knew that he cared for them during their times of trial. Just as slaves and servants looked to their masters, we are to look to the Lord in times of persecution, in times of suffering, in times of trial. We could go to James, the, the book of James in our study that we've been doing on Wednesday night. What types of persecution uh, do we have? Well, it looks different for us in America than maybe those in the Mideast or those in, in other countries where Christianity is uh, uh, banned. So I want to walk carefully through this during, during our looking at persecution. First of all, we can be persecuted by taunting and ridicule. We could be shunned by family, friends, neighbors, or even employers. Some uh, folks that are younger and in school, they face uh, persecution from their peers. Uh, if you're in high school, there's ridicule. If you're in college, you might be persecuted by uh, professors. We think of the movie uh, God's Not Dead that came out a couple years ago with the student that, that faced the professor and the persecution he endured. And then some folks we're thankful in America that this does not happen. Some will be jailed, some will be beaten, some will have a loss of home possessions, and in some cases they will lose their lives. But the author of Psalm 123 reminds us we lift our eyes to the Lord and we look to God who is the maker of heaven and earth. So with, uh, with that in mind, I want to close with the question of when times of persecution come. Whatever persecution you face, if it's 
the extreme of being jailed or beaten or, or loss of, of possessions, or if you just get teased or ridiculed or shunned, where are you going to turn for help? Are you going to take it on your own self to fix this? Or are you going to practice what Psalm 123 reminds us that we lift our eyes to the one that sits in heaven, to the one that sees all? I'd like to close with Psalm 141, verse 8. David writes, But my eyes look to the Lord, my Lord. I seek refuge in you alone. So I hope that when you do face times of persecution, I, I don't look forward to those times, but I know that when we do face those times of persecution, that the Lord will be with us. If I can help you in any way, please reach out, and I hope that you have a great Thursday. I will see you Sunday morning for our live stream of our service at 10.30. We have to stream our traditional, not our contemporary. So I will see you at 10.30 if you are not able to make it to our morning service. I hope you have a great weekend. Be safe, and if I can help you anyway, please reach out and let me know. Have a great weekend.